Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. So happy to greet you today in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. We are anxiously waiting for His return, but He told us to occupy. Uh -huh. Until he comes. Okay. And so we are here today because we are lively stones. The uh -huh. yeah. Bible said that it takes up lively stones, come on, uh -huh. to make up the house. Yes, oh, yes. We have the Spirit of God, uh -huh. the Spirit of the living God living uh -huh. on the inside of us. Uh -huh. yes, and it's not by works of righteousness uh -huh. that the Bible declares, uh -huh. which we've done. But according to his mercy, he saved us uh -huh. by the washing. Somebody say the washing. The washing. By the regeneration uh -huh. and by the renewing of the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We are grateful to greet our staff, our 1970 class of 1976 staff who, as it has already been stated, who have worked diligently to pull this off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We are grateful for you and for Michael Payne, that brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. This man is the only man that I know that be at work, at work. At work. Yeah. At work. Yeah. Um, we are so grateful to greet you. I'm ecstatically excited in the Lord Jesus. I know that I really, really look good today. <laughs> Because of you. Uh, somebody said, because of who you are, I give you glory. Because of who you are, I give you praise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, don't make me get started. Amen. Amen. Would you get your Bibles in your hand? And what we like to do is a confession of faith in Los Angeles. Your Bibles are your your iPads or your phones or your application of the Bible is. And if you would just stand with me and repeat after me, this is the word of God. This is the word of God. This word works in me mightily. This word works in me mightily. I am everything that God says that I am. I am everything that God says that I am. Everything that God says that I can do. I can do everything God says that I can do. I live this word. I live this word. I eat this word. I eat this word. And when I receive this word today. And when I receive this word today. My life is never going to be the same. My life is never going to be the same. Hallelujah. 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 Recognize my mom. Yes. Woohoo! The woman who in 1958, in the month of July, the doctor told her to push. <laughs> <laughs> and a man child. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I don't know what kind of tongue I was speaking in then, <laughs> but it was baby tongue. <laughs> Bless you, Mama. Amen. 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 Right next to my mom, yeah. my sister, and right behind her, my sister again. I think I saw two of you. Yeah. My nephew and my sister. Listen here, y'all, we call it now. Amen. We are very excited to have you here. Somebody told me a long time ago that favor ain't fair. <laughs> but she is a very tenacious. When it comes to information, mm -hmm. she makes me look so good. <laughs> she does things that I can do sometimes in 20 minutes. She would take three hours to do because she's a detailed person. Yes. Yes. And 
sometimes I used to scratch my head at it, and I, 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 I would say things to her, and she would be moved to, to anger because mm -hmm. she wanted me to appreciate the way that she did. Yeah. I, I found out that we need to celebrate each other's differences. Amen. Amen. And so I, I, I began to celebrate her those differences. <laughs> God's word is amazing. Amen. How many of you know Thank that? You, Amen. Amen. Let's begin to turn with me today to the book of Ephesians, the second chapter of the book of Ephesians. And we're going to unpack this. Take some time and unpack what God would say to us on this day. If you have that, would you say Amen. Amen. Ephesians 2 reads, And you have he quickened mm -hmm. your dead and trespasses and sins, where in time past you walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, mm -hmm. among whom also we all have our conversation in time past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Verse number four, but God who is rich in mercy for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, have quickened us together with Christ. By grace ye are saved, and have raised us up together, and made us to sit together in heavenly places, in Christ Jesus, that in the ages to come, he might show the ex exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. For by grace are you saved through faith, mm -hmm. and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, uh -huh. not of works, lest any man should boast. Uh -huh. For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Yes, Today I yes. have to use for a thought and simply say God's unmerited favor. Would you say that? God's unmerited, unmerited favor. favor. This is very powerful because anything that is unmerited means that you cannot work for it. Uh -huh. Anything that is unmerited means that you cannot earn it. Uh -huh. God's unmerited favor. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We find in this particular book, Paul, the Apostle Paul, is writing to a group of believers who have received in their heart the Lord Jesus Christ as their Lord and as their Savior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They had experienced the new birth. Mm -hmm. Yes. But they were rich beyond measure and they didn't understand the riches that they had received. Uh huh. Come on now. In the first chapter of this same book, the riches are laid out. Mm -hmm. One of the riches that they had received was forgiveness of sin. Uh -huh. Not only did they have forgiveness of sins in this present tense, but forgiveness of sins was also uh, equated to their past. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness of sins was good for their future. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And somebody said that I'm not perfect, uh -huh. I'm forgiven. Hey, hey. So sometimes we fall down, uh -huh. but we get up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Come on now. Another one of the riches that they had was that they were chosen. Uh -huh. The Bible said that we were chosen in him before the foundation of the world. Yeah. God already knew in his foreknowledge who would respond to the message concerning his son. The Bible said that God so loved, not just God loved, mm -hmm. but God so loved the world that he gave. Mm -hmm. Love is more than just saying, I love you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Love it's action. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on. God put his love in action. Uh -huh. yeah, that's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. He put seed to his love. Uh -huh. 
He loved the world so much, he said, that whosoever believeth in him mm -hmm. should not perish, yeah. but what? Have everlasting life. Have everlasting. I cannot phantom what everlasting is. Mm -hmm. Everlasting without end. Everlasting without finish. Yeah. Everlasting life. Mm -hmm. So these Christians were rich beyond measure. Mm -hmm. And they did not know how rich they were. Mm -hmm. So they walked around as beggars. Mm -hmm. They walked around as paupers. Mm -hmm. When God had released in their lives something dynamic. Yeah. Something powerful. Mm -hmm. Something that will keep them mm -hmm. throughout the ages. Mm -hmm. Not as long as they live in this earth. Yeah. But something that will keep them throughout the ages. Yeah, yeah. The ceaseless ages of eternity. Yeah. Right, right, right. Another one of the riches that they had was that they were sealed mm. with the seal of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Come on now. And as I began to look at that, I began to think about when you buy a house, mm -hmm. you put a down payment on the house, mm -hmm. uh, which is called earnest money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on now. The Lord gave us a seal. Uh, yeah. He put an earnest payment uh, on our lives. Go ahead, go ahead. They were rich. Uh -huh. Beyond measure. Uh -huh. yeah. But there's a problem when a woman or a man don't know who they are. Mm. The Bible declares that whatsoever is born of God uh -huh. overcometh what? The, the world. world. And this is the victory uh -huh. that overcometh the world, uh -huh. even our faith. Yeah. Yeah. faith. They said we come this far. Uh -huh. By faith, what's up, <laughs> <laughs> We come this far by faith. Yeah. No folks say by faith. <laughs> I said, what you say? She said, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Another one of the riches was they were adopted. Uh -huh. Come on now, this is a powerful one here. Mm -hmm. Whenever you are adopted, not only do you receive the name uh, of the one who adopted you, uh -huh. but you also receive the inheritance. Uh -huh. yeah. Come on now. Time owns, you receive the inheritance. Yeah. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Huh? Yeah. I ain't gonna talk about all of those riches. We're gonna unpack the second, the second chapter. What did he say? And you, I need you, baby, read. <laughs> <laughs> and you, he made alive, who were dead in trespasses and sins. Come on now, look at this thing right here. In he made a dead man come to life. <laughs> God made a dead man live again. Uh -huh. And I'm looking at this thing and I'm saying, Lord, how did we get dead? Uh -huh. <laughs> Hold that Bible. Somebody give me Romans 5 and 12. I said, Lord, how, how, how did we get dead? When you get that Romans 5 and 12, somebody sound Amen. off. Amen. When Adam sinned, Sin entered into the world. Listen to this now. Go ahead. Adam said, brought death. Mm -hmm. So death spread to everyone. When Adam, who was the federal head of humanity, disobeyed God, uh -huh. he had everything in the garden. When he walked in the cool <laughs> of the garden with God, he had everything he needed uh -huh. to survive. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But God said, look at here. There is one tree uh -huh. that is in the midst of the garden. Uh -huh. yes. Don't you go near that. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And Adam had the commandment and not Eve. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yes. All right now. Uh, and so well. she said, for as by one man, 
sin entered the world. Come on. Uh, for everyone sin. Mm -hmm. For every in Adam, since he was the actual federal head of humanity, in Adam we all sin. Mm -hmm. Right. Amen. In Adam, we all die. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, folk don't have a problem with receiving that part. Yeah. Uh, folk have a problem with, with receiving the fact that in Christ, mm -hmm. we all live. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Come on now. People have a problem. They, they, they stagger at the reality. Oh, we died in Adam. <laughs> oh, and have mercy. <laughs> you know, come on, give me some more of that. Yes, people sinned even before the law was given. Come on. But it was not a, not a, not counted as uh -huh. sin because there was not yet any law to break. So Michael, when we died, we had the big eye. <laughs> that big selfish eye. It's all about me. You don't have to uh, teach a child how to be selfish. I don't care how old they are. Right. Right. They have 10 toys in their hand and the little child come in with one to be mine. <laughs> <laughs> the big eye showed up. Uh -huh. Finish that up. Still, everyone died from the time of Adam to the time of Moses. Uh -huh. Even those who did not disobey any explicit commandment of God as Adam did. Mm -hmm. Now Adam is a symbol of the representation of Christ. Would you look mm. at this here? This is so powerful. People, they like I said earlier, they don't have no problem with being dead. Mm. But God said in the in, in the where she's reading in the second chapter of Ephesians, and you have he what? Made alive. Quicken. Made alive or quickened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, give me some more. Start again at the beginning. And you he made alive uh -huh. who were dead in trespasses and sins in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we Stop all. Right. Look at here, we die. And <laughs> Jesus came into the world to heal and to give life to those that were dead. Without him, there was no life. Mm. He said, I'm come that you might have what? Life. life. And have that more abundantly. abundantly. He said that this is the record that God has given to us, what? Eternal life. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this life is in his son. He who have the son of God have life. Mm -hmm. He who have not the son of God have not life. Mm -hmm. So in the old covenant, there were priests that, that had on their religious garb, they looked the religious part, but they were spiritually dead. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when the one appeared that could give life to them, they rejected him. Mm -hmm. well. He said he came to his own, mm -hmm. and his own received him not. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But to as many as received him, mm -hmm. to them he gave the power mm -hmm. to become yeah. the sons of God, to as many that believe on his name. Yeah, come on. Paul declared that I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, uh -huh. for it is the power of God uh -huh. to salvation. Yeah. To everyone that believes it, to the Jew first, uh -huh. and also to the Greek, for herein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, for the just shall, shall live, live by, by faith. faith. Come on now. All right. Paul got a revelation of the life of Jesus. He understood that in the Levitical priesthood, they took the scapegoat and they taken the scapegoat outside of the gate and they made sure that he was without blemish, without spot and without wrinkle. And they laid their hands on the scapegoat and the righteousness of the scapegoat was transferred to them. Mm -hmm. And the sin of the men was transferred to the scapegoat. Mm -hmm. They took the scapegoat outside of the gate and they offered him as a sacrifice. Uh -huh. That was a type and a shadow mm -hmm. of the Lord Jesus Christ Come on now. who came into the world uh -huh. to deliver us from the bondage of death. Uh -huh. Come on now. Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Come on. Give me some more. <laughs> Woo. Among whom also we all once conducted ourselves. And there's no way, there's no reason why we should look down on somebody that don't know the Lord and look at him and say, You need to be saved. Yeah. That's just too tough to make them. Yeah. Because it wasn't long ago that you 
Somebody said, love lifted me. Uh -huh. yeah. Love lifted me. Uh -huh. When nothing else can help, uh -huh. love uh -huh. lifted me. Yeah, yeah. Come on now. Come on. Come on. He looked beyond my faults. Yeah. And he saw my need. Yeah. And he knew that he knew that he knew my, that I had a need. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I was in church. Because mama took us to church. We <laughs> and I remember when I was in the military, I went out into this dark field. Because when I, we would go out and bivouac, I was a Marine. And when we'd come back from a three day bivouac, they would have garbage cans filled up with ice. And full of cans of beer. It was about eight of them. But when we came out this day, I didn't have a desire to drink beer no more. I had been drinking it for a long time and it didn't do nothing for me. I staggered and I smelled like liquor. But it didn't do nothing for me mentally. It didn't do anything for me spiritually. All I know is I had a hangover the next day. So I went in this dark field, and as I was on my way, the devil was trying to bring the spirit of fear to keep me from going out in that field. But I was determined, somebody. I was determined to find out something that I didn't know, something that was bugging me on the inside, something uh -huh. that I couldn't satisfy with anything that I experienced in my life up uh -huh. until that time. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I got out in that dark field and as I was going, the devil was saying, don't you go out in this field. <laughs> but he didn't know that my heart was fixed, my heart was set. I was too hungry. I was too hungry. I had become famished in my life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I heard the spirit of the Lord who I didn't know at that time. Say to me, greater is he. Come on now, come on. Yes. I didn't see the spirit of the Lord. I just heard him. It's like, okay, that'll work. <laughs> I made it on out there to that dark field and I had shield bumps and goosebumps all over my body because this was going to be an introduction to something that I didn't know nothing about. But uh -huh. I got down on my knees and I told the Lord, I said, Lord, if you, the God who made the heavens and the earth. Uh -huh. and yes. When I was a little boy, I used to be in front of the church and mom would have me up singing solos and the church would be standing up and clapping their hands and our mom would write out these plays and I would get up and be the main character in her play because she wanted me to shine. Yeah. <laughs> I was on my knees and I said, Lord, I experienced the, the joy of all of those applause that had went forth, but Lord, I never knew you. Yeah. Oh. I said, Lord, oh, yeah. if you're the God who made the heavens and the earth, yeah. come into my heart. Yes, I need a heart fix. Yeah. Come on now, come on now. Come on. Oh, tell it, tell it. The spirit of fear, I can hear him picking up his bags and getting up out of there. Mm. <laughs> and the next thing I know, I was relaxing out there in that dark field in the presence of God. Yeah. Yeah. And God put a hunger in my heart that was for his word. He, he, he told me, I want you to preach. And I was like, Lord, preach what? <laughs> And he said, my word. Yes, sir. I said, Lord, I'll be trying to read that Bible. <laughs> but it's mumbo jumbo to me. Preach it up. And he said, read it now. Read it now. And I opened up the word, and he said, and I remember I was playing to passage of scripture. He said, blessed are they which do hunger and thirst. For they shall be filled with my eyes by wine. And I said, what you say? Amen. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Yes, Lord. Blessed are they who do that. Hungry. And I said, that's what this is. I'm so hungry. You know, they came out with that song that said, I don't want no peanut butter and jelly. I want my soul to be saved. Amen. Give me some more Bible. Um, fulfilling the desires of the flesh. Look at this here. Fulfilling the desires of our flesh. You know you can't fulfill it. The flesh be wanting it. Seems like the flesh, the desires of the flesh just be growing. You know, I already ate four cookies. Now you, you say, well, that's all I'm going to eat. And then your flesh be telling me, just give me one more. Then you eat that one. And then you can try to hide the cookies way up there. <laughs> Put them in your drawer. Put them in your drawer. Fulfilling the <laughs> desires of the flesh. Uh huh. Uh huh. And of the mind. Mm -hmm. Man, you can drink beer till your stomach be way out here. You still be drinking. <laughs> you can't satisfy this flesh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The flesh is like a deep well, man. Yeah. Solomon had all those wives and all those concubines, and he wanted more. <laughs> Mm. Come on, give me some more. And were by nature. And were by nature. Children of wrath. Children of wrath. You know them children of the corn? <laughs> <laughs> children of wrath. Uh -huh. <laughs> you ain't got to wait to get grown to have, to, to be wrathful. Mm. Mm. Cheerings. Yeah. Yeah. Cheerings. Yeah. Huh? Mm hmm. Yeah. God is a God of love. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. But there is a wrath uh -huh. that's going to come from the presence of God. Uh -huh. We think that we've seen some turmoil in the earth now. But there is a wrath that is going to come upon the earth. Yes, Lord. That's going to blow folk minds. Yes, Lord. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Just as the others. Just as the others. Come on, come on. Give but me God. But God. Uh -huh. Who is rich in mercy. Who is rich in mercy. Uh -huh. There have been folk that have experienced the mercy of God in the 1700s, in the 1600s, in the 1500s, the 1800s, the 1900s. He is rich in mercy. Yeah. And he has more mercy. He said his mercies are renewed mm -hmm. every day. Every day. Come on now. Every day. Morning by morning. For the great love. Mm -hmm. Wherewith he loved us. Even when we were dead. And our trespasses and sins. You didn't wait till I put down my liquor. <laughs> Come on now. Hmm? Uh, he knew that I was helpless. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He knew that I needed a redeemer. Oh, yeah. 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 He knew that I needed oh, yeah. him. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Give me more. Because of his great love with which he loved us, uh -huh. even when we were dead in trespasses, yeah. uh -huh. made us alive together with Christ. How many of you are alive today? He made you, he quickened you together with Christ, and he raised you up together and positionally raised you up and seated you mm. where he is. Yeah. The Bible said, as Christ is in the world, so are you. Yeah. Mm. You need to stand up and poke your chest out and realize that you are world overcome. Uh -huh. yeah. It's time for you to realize that the days of you tucking your tail between your legs and running away from the devil are over. Because of his great love, wherewith he loved us, mm -hmm. even when we were dead in sin, uh -huh. he has quickened us together with Christ, uh -huh. and he has raised us up together, uh -huh. and he has made us to sit together uh -huh. in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Come on, come on. That in the ages to come, yeah, yeah. he might show forth uh -huh. his glory in our lives. Yeah. He has placed us yeah. in a position yeah. where we are on display yeah. in the earth. We are a city that is on a 
heal. Yeah. That cannot be hidden. Yeah. We are the lights of the world. To shine in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation. Let your light shine so that men can see your good works come on, come and glorify your Father. with Chuck Norris called Missing in Action. Uh -huh. Chuck Norris was highly trained in guerrilla warfare. Uh -huh. And his assignment was to go 